Welcome back my giggle room kiddos. We are doing part two of the angry birds and we've already done one of the pigs and the yellow or the red angry bird. So now we're going to do the blue one and the red or the yellow one. So we are going to get all of the dough that we need for our birdie. So there we go. We have everything we need now. There. Perfect. So the majority of this bird is all blue. So we just need to take a tiny little piece off for his head. So let's see here. We'll put this guy over here. Oh, his eye fell off. <laughs> put your eye back on, angry bird, and your hair. Okay, so let's mush up our Play-Doh like we do. We've got some for his hair, so we'll make him nice and soft so that we can get him all together. There we go. Oh, perfect. So we have a beautiful blue body ready for him to go. So now we're gonna take little pieces and make some little eyes for him. Just like this. Tiny little balls. And we are going to put them right here. Just like that. So that's the start of him. Now what we have to do is get a little bit of the red and we are going to make some half moon sleepy cranky eyes for him. So we just go just like this and we will cut out some half moon shapes for him. So we'll use our trusty knife that comes with it, just like this. And we will start, and we have two little triangles, and they go just underneath his eyes. Just like that. And then you take this one, and you do the exact same thing. You make sure it's all squished on nice and tight, just like that. So now what we need to do is we need to make his beak. So let's make his beak nice and orange and big, just like that. And see, we have his beak. You see, boys and girls, pretty neat, just like that. So now what we need to do is we need to make him some crazy hair. And then we will finish him off with his signature eyeballs, because he needs his eyes. There, perfect hair. And now we need two tiny little eyeballs for him to make him the perfect bird. So let's do his eyes. And I think that we did a pretty decent job on this bird. He looks just like him. So now we're gonna flip the page over and we are gonna do the yellow guy. So the yellow guy is a little bit harder because you don't make a circle with him you make triangle. So we're Okay, so we have all of our angry birds ready to go and I think we did a really good job. We followed the instructions and look how they turned out. They are very much like the real angry birds. So we can bring in our angry bird friends and they can start singing to the angry birds we made. So look at that. That's pretty neat. So we'll put this guy behind and bring this guy forward so you can see them better. And we had a lot of fun doing the Angry Birds. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. It was lots of fun. And now look at the Angry Birds that we have. We get to play with them. And you know that it did come with the shovel. So if you wanted to, all you have to do is hold it like this and you put your Angry Bird in and it goes floop. So I'll show you with one of the ones that we didn't make because I really don't want to ruin the ones we made. So if you watch, oh, it flings the Angry Birds so that you can play 
Angry Birds and throw them at each other. See? So that's a lot of fun, boys and girls, and I hope you guys had a lot of fun with us because we really like making the Angry Birds. So we did the yellow one and the blue one, and we also did a bunch of the this guy and the red guy. So we did a wonderful job today. I'm very proud of us. I think we had a lot of fun and we have these great Angry Birds. And if you don't want to mess them up, you can keep them and put them in your room for a collection. So make sure you come back and see us again when we do lots more Angry Birds.